Hey, here we are for the final installment of the stress series. As I mentioned before, this time we're going to talk about stress management. What to do when stress hits you and you feel like you have no way out, you got the headaches, your stomach ache, you don't see anything positive. I have eight ways to manage stress. Number one is to breathe and we do not breathe properly a lot of times we breathe shallow raising our shoulders that's totally inappropriate what you want to do is practice deep breathing breathe in through your nose and you should feel your stomach expanding feel your stomach expanding like so and out so when you do your breathing that stress comes on you want to breathe in Hold it one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and release. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That instantly brings down your heart rate and you know it decreases the adrenaline and just helps you feel better. Number two, laugh. How many times have we seen this funny movie or we went to the comedy club to watch this comedian and it just made us feel so much better? Or get around those people that make you laugh because laughter is so important. We've all heard it before that laughter is the best medicine. It certainly is true. You get smiling. You f totally forget about that stressful situation that was upon you. So laugh. Find something to laugh about whether it's a child they're always so cute and funny because they don't have a care in the world and and like I said go to the movie see a comedy enthrall yourself in anything that will get your mind off of the stressful situation number three is to exercise and stretch this is so important because what this does is to produce sweat and we know that when we sweat, we are releasing the toxins. We're releasing those things out of our body that do not belong there. We're expelling the waste. So exercise is so important. And that exercise is going to be unique to you. And my suggestion is to do the things that you enjoyed as a child. If it was jump roping, if it was basketball, maybe you don't have all the strength to do your um, your dunks like you used to, but you can still participate. And the important thing is to sweat, to exercise, get those joints moving, get the muscles moving, become active, walk. Make a commitment to walk three times a week. That's gonna help you to manage your stress. And when you're in that stressful situation, just say to myself, I'm gonna exercise tonight because today was just horrendous. I need to exercise. Exercise is not only important for losing weight, it's important for health management, for allowing our immune system to work properly because our immune system does not work. It does not have a pump like our circulatory system unless we're moving our joints and getting that lymph flowing so exercise exercise is so very important number four get a massage to manage stress what a massage does is works on the soft tissues all of the fascia the muscles the tendons the ligaments it's going to loosen up that tension because we know that stress brings on muscle tension so what you want to do is release those contracted muscles and release those trigger points so there's all types of massage and you need to find the one that's best for you just to name a few that um, another touch massage therapy does we do a stress buster massage we do the chair stress buster there's aromatherapy stress buster there's deep tissue stress buster which combats chronic conditions chronic uh, muscle tension you know something that you've been dealing with for a while not something acute that has set on within a day or two 
so getting a massage is so important and like I said you need to educate yourself about the different modalities and find out from your massage therapist what they are actually going to do this is your body so you are in control and the, your massage therapist should be explaining to you exactly what the treatment is they're going to say well I'm going to spend 30 minutes doing this I'm going to attack your trigger points and it should be something that does not hurt it may be a little bit uncomfortable at first but massage is not painful and it is good for you and an excellent way to manage your stress number five you need to get around your friends and talk about the situation have that confident that person you can uh, confide in about the issue or maybe the situ you know talk about the situation with the person that you have the problem with have some type of conflict revolution resolution because when you talk about the issue that immediately brings everything down to another level you don't feel so tense and uptight because what you're doing is speaking that situation into non-existence and you're also allowing that person that you're talking to to give you feedback maybe you haven't seen an alternative that is there or maybe you're looking at the situation in a totally different way than it is in reality so that sounding board those people that person those friends that close loved one is going to allow you to look at the situation different differently and just to talk it out because sometimes talking it out just helps so much number six you need to get out in nature get around some trees go to the park go on your favorite nature trail go for a walk outside just the simple fresh air will change your attitude just change so much when it comes to stress and it's also important to note that being out in a natural setting allows you to have ideas you know creative ideas because the best ideas the most innovative things aren't going to come to you sitting inside at that desk in your cubicle with the fluorescent light you're not going to be able to think clearly and clear your mind so being outside getting in nature anything natural whether that's uh, playing with your dog uh, listening to the birds chirp things like that go to a farm visit the animals just find joy in nature that's going to allow you to manage your stress number seven prayer and meditation ask for an outside power to assist you with this situation is going to give you clarity is going to allow you to release that off of your heart mind and soul so pray and meditate and with meditation this has to be something that's done daily so that you get into the habit of doing it because this will ground you so much so prayer and meditation as a way of managing stress and finally music is an excellent way to manage stress I know this myself being a songwriter and a singer what music does in anything creative is allows you to express yourself and be free and keeping along the same lines with music is journaling maybe that journal that poem that you've written down will transform into a song you may want to go and read it at an open mic night so music and anything creative is going to help you manage stress and also it allows you to dance music allows you to dance put on your favorite tunes girl put your records on tell me your favorite song just go ahead let your hair down that's what I'm telling you dance music be creative that's going to be a way that you manage stress I want to thank you for listening to me throughout this stress series and I hope that I've helped you to better manage stress and to better understand what stress is thank you again bye